We are here tonight to get your comments on what has been proposed by the developers for the redevelopment of the Care of Four property. What we're asking is, I will, I will give a little bit more detail on, on what we do, but what we want you to do when the time comes is to review all the boards. You can either do it over there or over here, identical sets. Um, take a pack of sticky notes and a pen, or if you have one already, write down if you have positive or negative comments about any of the boards and stick the notes on those boards. And that's how we collect the public information about what the community thinks about the individual boards. Robert Cochran will be over there to answer questions that are technical to the development. I will be over here answering questions about the planning aspects of it um, and to help guide you through the process. Now let me explain the process. The application was filed at the beginning of September with the Germantown Planning Commission. It will be heard, I believe, October 2nd. You will receive notice from the city of Germantown about that public hearing if you live within uh, 300 or 500 feet, depending on um, the property that you own. People in Fountain Square, because it's a condominium, we notify everybody in the development. Um, otherwise, it's a 300 foot radius around the property as required by Germantown. They will, as I said, they will send you a notice of when it is scheduled for the planning. Following a recommendation by the Planning Commission, it goes forward to the Mayor and Board of Aldermen for their approval of the outline plan. According to the SMART Code requirements of the City of Germantown, a developer has two choices as it relates to his property. He can develop it under its current zoning, which I believe this property is zone C2, which is uh, Germantown's highest commercial district. Um, or they can apply for an outline plan approval that allows for, in the outline plan, it allows for the bulk and impact of the de potential development to be reviewed by the Planning Commission. and. Uh, if approved by the mayor and board of aldermen, then they can come in with specific designs and specific uses to be placed on the property. As you saw in the notice, there is a listing of uses, office, commercial, hotel, etc. Okay, because those are the most intensive activities that could go on the property and generate the most traffic and probably the most demand for uh, other services in Germantown. So that is what is being reviewed in terms of the fiscal impact of the development by the city of Germantown. What that evaluation is, I don't know. I'm not privy to it. I don't have any dealings with the staff, okay? You'll have to wait till the staff makes its report and what it was presented in front of the planning commission. All right, but tonight, our purpose is to collect your comments, pro or con, and you can write one thing on one board and hate something on another, okay? <laughs> You're not confined to, um, you know, saying everything's bad or everything's good, okay? There are things that I like, there are things that I don't like about any development that I'm involved in. So I assume that I, I can take it that that's pretty much the same across uh, the general populace. So, at this point, and you're free to leave whenever you want. 
okay? We're not, we're not locking the doors. And if anybody comes in late, they'll get the same sort of, we'll sort of discuss that with them and, and let them go through. Just a couple quick questions. Yes, ma'am. Well, who hired you as a public strategist? Excuse who hired me? you as a public strategist? The developer. <coughs> and we were hired to conduct this meeting, okay? Um, we're not here to sell you anything, all right? We're here to collect your, your comments and information. What happens to the current inhabitants in the current building? That's between the developer and the um, tenants of the structure. And who's the developer? Uh, Cannon, Austin and Cannon. Okay. So are you telling us that Mount Square is going away? No, sir. This has nothing to do with Mount Square. No. This okay. is only the Carrefour property. Okay. okay. That's plain language. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the, the subject what property about those, is... What about those over there? This, this this development is only about the care for property. Okay. It is not about any of the surrounding properties. We have a lot of pictures of buildings around here, and I can't see how you get them all in the square on this one. Is it choices? Yes. yes. Okay. And eventually, that would have to be approved by the design review board and the mayor and board board of all. Okay. So so that's that's a that's a process down the road. Okay, right now, what you're looking at is, what is the footprint of the building, okay? And under the zoning, under the, if, if, if it's approved for the uh, T5 and T6 restrictions, um, the height of the buildings in those areas. Okay. That is essentially all that's approved under the outline plan, okay? What is the height? It could be. What is T5 and T6? Those, Dumb growth. I'll discuss those individually when, when people start going around. I, can't, I don't, I need to look at them. We don't need to study. I, I, I yeah. want to get the questions. I don't care what they have here. Have you noticed that you guys, y'all already submitted something to the Planning Commission for approval? Yes, an application has already been submitted for the approval of the outline. But I see all these different possibilities. So what exactly has been submitted? Y'all want to do something, but you don't know what? or. Under, under the regulations of the SMART code, okay, they have to submit an outline plan, which gives a general concept of how the property is to be developed, which is shown on the second board here in our okay, of, of full building, okay? What goes in those buildings could be, as it's listed on the notice that you were provided, or it could be any of the uses that are permitted under the zoning code. So it could be apartments. At this point, at this point in no. time, no. apartments That's what we're, are yes. not permitted. Under 10-5, under T-5, it'll be apartments. No, you said they're not. When you say specifically where the hotel is. There's a moratorium under no. that. Is not you said that that expires time. next year. Huh? You said this time apartments are not permitted. That's correct. There's so a moratorium. We all know what that means. The moratorium goes that away. There's a moratorium. We all know what that means. It ends. Understood. At this time, we all want to stay with that. That's you, which means this time. I don't know. Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> I do not. Yes, you do. We all know. <laughs> so, let, one, I can't say. So, let's, let's do this. Why don't you explain this with this group? Well, let's get somebody to explain this. Wow. Let's go through the floor instead of doing shots. So that way we can understand slide by slide. I don't want to go at who you slide and try to get out of the box. So let's take, let's take this group here, and then you'll take another group here. I'm going to be able to do it. 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 This is deteriorating, which is part of the plan to shut people up. Okay. 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 Okay.